Who? What do you mean, who? Didn't you see him? Oh, come on. That was a very effective little job you did the other night. Well, you said you wanted the break in attempt to look realistic. You were right to get your valuables out of that safe. The security around here stinks. Yeah, you certainly proved that to my satisfaction. Uh, what about that other little matter I asked you to look into? Well, it took some digging, but I think I found what you were looking for. It's not gonna make you happy. Oh, well, you'd be surprised what makes me happy. Oh, everything all right for the party tonight? I think so. Great. Sure you won't come? Uh-huh. Chicken. <laughs> Have a happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Mind if I take a look around? Who are you? My name's Melansky. Ken Melansky. I work with Perry Mason. Mason the lawyer? You a lawyer too, Melansky? <laughs> Don't tell me you got something against attorneys. Ever know a cop who didn't? Who said you could be in here? Lieutenant Brock. He's outside. Ask him. I will. In the meantime, don't go anywhere. Don't touch anything. Clear? You're not going to find anything, Melansky. Forensics swept the place clean yesterday. Mm -hmm. You ought to tell your investigator that she acted like I was trying to sneak out with vital evidence. What investigator? Tall, blonde, nice looking. She was going to go look for you. She was just here. Just now. Yeah, just now. She just drove away. It wasn't one of yours? The only woman on my squad is Lenny Rodriguez, and she ain't no blonde. She had an ID, Lieutenant Darius Quinn. I wrote her name and license number in the log. Lieutenant, the one that's a dead end. This is not another one of Mason's scams, is it, Melansky? Getting us running around in circles looking for some mystery woman? Give me a break, Lieutenant Perry, and I don't work that way. You don't know that by now. After you. She was here a few minutes ago. Who is she? She worked for Alana. Doing what? Special projects, like the party. Occasional dirty tricks, stabs in the back. Whatever Lauren Kent was doing, Alana kept secret. Well, she doesn't work for Mrs. Westbrook anymore. Now, what was she doing here? She said she had some loose ends to tie up. So do I. You know how I can find her? Well, her employment file's in the computer. Can't bring her up. Her file's been erased. Could she have gotten her hands on one of those terminals? Well, there's another one in Mrs. Westbrook's office. When she was in there, I... You don't think that she could have erased it herself, do you? Now, there's a thought. Did you pay her by check? She picked up her last one today, yeah. You have any of the canceled checks? The name of her bank will be stamped on the back of the check. Kent's here. 
Why should I talk to you now, Mr. Malinsky? Either here and now, Ms. Kent, or on the witness stand under oath. Suppose I just disappear. We'll find you. And then you can explain to Lieutenant Brock what you were doing at the Westbrook mansion impersonating a police officer. My name is Lauren Kent. I'm a PI. Here's my license. I've known Alana since I was a kid. I did a couple of jobs for her, and then she hired me on a permanent basis. What were you working on? She had me checking out some of her employees. Alana wasn't exactly what you'd call a trusting person. Your employer is dead. Why are you still investigating? I want to find out who killed her. You don't think it was her husband? No. For some inexplicable reason, Arthur loved her. Why do you care who it was? Two reasons. First, I have this old-fashioned idea that anyone who commits a murder should be punished. Call me crazy. And second? If I solve this case, I'll never have to hustle for another job. I'll be famous, and like Mr. Perry Mason, the jobs will come to me. Does it work that way, Ken? Look, Mr. Mason, we both believe that your client is innocent. Maybe we can help each other. Have you spoken to Harley Griswold? Why? Alana was worried about him. Seems he has a temper. Seems he's dangerous when he's crossed. Well, he doesn't look very dangerous. Mr. Mason, you of all people ought to know just how deceiving looks can really be. That's very true, Ms. Kent. Isn't that so, Mr. Malansky? <laughs> I think I got us a killer. I told Harley Griswold that I have a photo of him sneaking back into the Westbrook house the night of the party. I also told him for $10,000, I'd sell him the negative instead of giving the photo to the police. You can't do that. That's blackmail. Not really, because there isn't any photo. But if he thinks there is and he tries to buy it, we've got our man. <laughs> Perry's going to love this. Well, it's a good thing we didn't ask his permission, isn't it? Tell me something. Are you really as tough as you act? Stick around and find out. Griswold told me that he'd get the money and he'd meet me at the Grillo Center parking lot at 10 p.m. tonight. All he's got to do is show and we've got it. 